Guys, a wonderful good afternoon here from Nairobi and today I'll be flying one of Africa's greatest airlines, Kenya Airways, from Nairobi all the way to Dubai on the 787 Dreamliner in business class. You probably remember two years ago I flew them from London uh, to Nairobi and I was very pleased. It was a great experience and now we're going to see how they perform in 2020. Uh, the Pride Lounge is the very lounge of uh, Kenya Airways and we're going to go in now and check it out what the lounge has to offer. Let's Let's do it. So the Pride Lounge is usually really spacious, it's very bright, you have a beautiful view over the apron from here and they still feature a buffet. Um, you can't like go there yourself but you just tell the guy whatever you want. Thank you. They don't, they don't seem very happy though. <laughs> she gave me quite a weird look. So there's a buffet. There is uh, shower facilities here as well. Go check out the shower. It, looks, it doesn't look that nice, um, but uh, overall, it's a very lovely lounge. And it has free Wi-Fi, which is also pretty cool. So it says boarding in 20 minutes, and I am slightly excited. Uh, summarizing the lounge, not too bad. I didn't get too busy. And the stuff was lovely, with like one exception, but otherwise they were, they were quite lovely. Very attentive, I like that. I think I'm at the wrong level now, I think I was supposed to go to level one, because I think everything down here is bus boarding. Yeah, I have to go, I have to go up again. Always pay attention, Josh. Uh, went to the wrong level, the gate is A. 13. So let's head there and have a look. First glimpse of the Dreamliner. And there she is, the 787-8. Kenya Airways currently operates eight. Uh, at the moment, I think only six. I saw two were parked and one was even used for spare parts, the nose was missing, uh, some fitting of the engines. And this is what airlines do these days. You're probably asking what they do with their airplanes that they have parked. They usually utilize them for spare parts in order to save some money. And I guess that's what happens uh, to the 787 fleet of Kenya Airways as well. So you get literally checked all the time, your, especially your COVID uh, certificate and your onward flight. Uh, it hasn't been that strict in a long time and now we have another bus boarding. So and here we are on board the Dreamliner. There are 30 seats in business class here in a 222 configuration. And I was always convinced that this is the cheapest seat you can get fitted on the Dreamliner until I flew Ethiopian Airlines, which actually have angled flat bat, like angled, angled bats. Angled flat? I don't know what's the right word, but yeah, that was even, even worse. Uh, generally, I like it because it's spacious, but I'm not a big fan of like 222 configurations since they are pretty outdated. All right, so a quick little seat tour. In front of you, you have the in-flight entertainment storage space, an ottoman where you can uh, store stuff underneath as well. Here's the safety card. Uh, table is kept here. Those are the seat controls. If you click this button, you actually turn this into a divider, but it's a bit yeah, tough to do right now. Uh, universal power led USB remote control for the in-flight entertainment, a bottle holder, a reading light. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi. Those 787-8s uh, of uh, Kenya Airways are not Wi-Fi enabled. But yeah, I had a nice welcome by the crew. Usually in Kenya Airways, the crew is brilliant. That was my experience so far. 
The flight I took just to get here was lovely on the on the Embraer in their regional business class. And two years ago, I also had like a phenomenal crew. So also the flight time is around five hours. <laughs> the cabin crew was laughing at me while I was doing it because the cabin is empty and he wasn't was thinking, who's he talking to? What's wrong with him? <laughs> uh, that's a good, nice attitude to have. And in times of COVID, Kenya Airways is still giving out welcome drinks, just like in the good old days. And I think something that is very important to point out, which I showcased on Ethiopian Airlines, uh, Dreamliner, which is identical, the same age, six years of age. And if you look at the interior here, everything, there's no stains. It is clean, it is, it is well maintained and that was what was so upsetting on, on Ethiopian Airlines that the stain was a result of not looking properly after your aircraft um, before, even before Corona because such stain just doesn't happen overnight. And this, this plane is just as old and of course you have a little like scratches and stuff like here but you can tell that they're properly cleaning everywhere they can and here on this plane even though it's the same age it just looks so much more love they put just so much more love in it and i think this is something i very much appreciate and that makes makes a difference of a good airline and a very good airline because some people when i posted on instagram said oh but what do you expect from an african airline i think kenya airways is the perfect example that you can do it and that Africans can run an airline and they do it very successfully. As you can see, as there's a renaissance now of all the flag carriers such as Air Tanzania, Uganda Airlines, and they do really carefully look after their equipment if they want to, which is not the case of Ethiopian Airlines. And that's why clearly Ethiopian Airlines is not the best airline, in my opinion, in Africa. Yeah, so far, I don't know what's what's happening, but uh, doors are still open. We're waiting for something. I, I have them all to myself, and it was so lovely after boarding was completed, the crew came to me and she said like, are you okay sitting here all by yourself? And I said, yeah, yeah, that's all fine. I was like, just come and visit me from time to time. And she said, yeah, I hope I'm not gonna forget you. <laughs> so it is super lovely, super caring crew. Uh, every one of them, they have been really lovely. They have no issues. So with a delay of 40 minutes, we're finally being pushed back. So while we are heading for the runway, I have a question for the super aviation engineering geeks here. Um, the engines have literally been turned on three minutes ago and now we are like probably reaching, yeah, returning from the run right now. Don't they need a bit of time to like warm up and to get temperature before they go full thrust or how does it work? Are they like functional from the second you, you turn them on? Because I know with a car you shouldn't accelerate it really fast um, if it's still cold. How does it work for engines? If you know, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm dying to know. idea uh, how clean this plane is um, they're giving out wet wipes instead of hot towels and then I'm just gonna go over the surface right where people frequently touch it and it's spotless so in Kenya it still gives out Blankets. The only problem is with those blankets, I always get electrocuted. As soon as you move them, you can feel the static in the air. You get like electrocuted. It's like. 
so we had a beverage service and um, a beer I very like. Uh, I tried that two years ago, Tasker. All right, guys. Cheers to a great flight, hey? Ah, did you love that sound? So, and now let me demonstrate you what this seat looks like when it's completely flat. So usually the advantage with like forward facing seats is the fact that they're a bit more wide, uh, so they're a bit more spacious um, as well. Um, however, the thing I don't like about it is that you're so far away from the TV screen and you got to use the remote, you can't use the touch screen function um, on the screen itself. But uh, when it comes to sleeping, um, it's usually a very pleasant um, experience. It's a bit weirder when you have someone uh, when you have someone next to you. That's when I don't like it at all because there's very little privacy, and even when you sleep, they can kind of look at you. But I find it's a bit weird and uncomfortable. But I'm sure if they're ever going to have a new generation plane, like let's say the Order some 350s or whatever, usually these days airlines tend uh, to choose seats which have all direct eye access and now I'm like itching like crazy under my mask. Oh my god. <laughs> Just, I think I'm never gonna get used to those masks. Though it's getting better. The thing is though I've been traveling all day so I've been wearing it as well since this morning and it starts getting a bit sore here behind my ears. Um, that is that is that's been uncomfortable but yeah other than that that's that that's a flat bad experience <laughs> promising it does look promising so uh, but sometimes it looks really good and tastes like shit so <laughs> and sometimes it looks terrible and tastes very delicious uh, it's a very mysterious world uh, especially airline food uh, but yeah I'm very excited to dig in and tell you what it's like all right so I really like fish I am a seafood person but the thing is with uh, <laughs> look at a fork had a rough day. Uh, the thing with the fish is it tends to get very dry on an airplane. Though I had like delicious fish on 80 Hot in first class and uh, Turkish Airlines back then when Turkish Airlines was still trying very hard. It's a bit of sauce. It also comes with a side of spinach. I am a huge fan of spinach. Perfect. I think even Gordon Ramsay would be happy with that. The fish is not too dry. Very nice in flavors. So job well done. Um, can your airways on your catering? So I'm just at a dessert now and it's uh, fantastic. Overall, that was a fantastic dinner service. I didn't see a false note anywhere. That's like as good as it can be in times of Corona. And what is next? Of course, the Lure Review. So guys, and welcome to the Louvre Review here on Kenya Airways 787. So here we are, there's like no special amenities. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing here. Um, what it is though, it's very clean. It doesn't smell weird. That's where you get the Chinese of nappies. Uh, yeah, but overall it's nothing special. Like, um, there's not even any sanitizer here or whatever. That should be it. That was the new review. I think we have like two and a half, three hours left. The service was really quick. And uh, now it's time to enjoy the product a little bit. Go flat, have a little nap, arrive at Dubai because there's still like COVID testing, etc. Head to the hotel, wake up fresh and nice in Dubai. So guys, since I always give 100% to give you guys uh, the best possible review of the product, sometimes it's also time for me to just lean back and enjoy the product. So I'm gonna have a bit of a sleep now. So guys, uh, the captain just announced our descent into Dubai and I thought it was a good idea to summarize the video now uh, because there's not going to be any landing scenes. So after this, a call at the flight review. Um, it was a great flight. Considering what I have paid, I've got so much. Uh, food was great. Crew was sensational, so loving, so kind, uh, just like buddies. Um, that is something we really appreciate the cabin 
spotless absolutely clean they're doing their job they're promising something and they deliver and that is something that I can't stress enough that was really what made me uh, made me very happy it's very satisfying to know that uh, that they really live up to their promises and uh, other than that I, I stand with my words that um, or with my statement that Kenya Airways is probably the best among the top three airlines in Africa. Always have a good flight, I'm always happy with my experience, always very satisfied with the crew. So uh, I have no doubt that also you will have a great time flying Kenya Airways. This should be it uh, for today. Uh, for today. Yeah, the only weird thing was that it didn't give out headphones um, because they were easy to sanitize and I was like that they were being passed around. Uh, so I have something negative to say as well because you guys would be like, Josh, you didn't have anything to complain about. Now, that was a good fight. Um, this is it, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think uh, about Kenya Airways uh, and which airlines you like and prefer in Africa. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, and uh, guys, wherever you're off to, have a safe trip. And thank you so much for watching.